welcome on a beautiful sunny day in Kunming, Yunnan, China. Today I'm going to take you uh, to one of my favorite places in China. I always like going to a museum. Now this building behind me is the Yunnan Provincial Museum. They have six main exhibition halls going from ancient China to modern China. Love coming here, learn a lot every time I come here. This area also is the cultural hub of Guangdu, so they have three major buildings. The other building here is the Yunnan Grand Theatre. It's designed in the shape of almost a hat, but they call it the crown of Yunnan. Very beautiful, seen lots of performances there. Great fun. And behind me, what we have is another famous building. That's the Yunnan Museum of Literature and Art. They have 13 permanent exhibition halls, as well as temporary ones. Um, also, a lot of information inside there. But today, we're going to focus on the Yunnan Provincial Museum. Let's go. The beautiful bronze statues. These are large statues. The replicas are actually quite small, but these go back about 2,000 years. Very beautiful. So we're now inside the Yunnan Provincial Museum. It's very big in here, very cool. Uh, we're going to go to five exhibition halls, going from ancient Yunnan to modern Yunnan. Wow. So over here, this is a very special piece. It's a replica, but what it is, is it's a bronze carving with a bull at the front, target at the back, and it was found in Jiangchuan in Yunnan. It goes back to the warring periods 2,000 years ago in China and was rediscovered in excavation in 1974. The original is about this big, very beautiful. So Yunnan for me is a special place in my heart and one of the reasons is it's got mountains, rivers, valleys. It's the geology of Yunnan that's very special. So you see he has a map of Yunnan that goes out. And it goes from a very low portion, you have a few hundred meters, to high plateaus there, 3,000 meters. So geology in, in Yunnan is very special and unique, which has given rise to a unique style of life. Now in front of us, what you'll see is some of the unique rock formations and minerals in Yunnan. So Yunnan is known as a very rich, all types of minerals and precious gems and rock formations in Yunnan. As we keep going along yeah, we'll get to now the crustacean period. So how life evolved in Yunnan. And so we have an exhibition on the various life forms from a few hundred million years ago to millions of years ago until we eventually arrived in Yunnan. So we're now walking through the, the dinosaur exhibition hall and in front of us is a very famous dinosaur. It's the first dinosaur remains found in China in 1939. It's called the Lu Feng, Lu Fungasaur, Lu Feng dinosaur. So this section of the museum all shows the evolution of mankind and the oldest Homo erectus found in China was actually found in Yunnan called the Yuan Mora. The next exhibition hall starts to look at the Neolithic period. This is when uh, people started to use utensils for food and cooking and dates back to about 10,000 to 5,000 years ago. And in the museum, yeah, we have a very famous piece, very characteristic piece of pot from that particular era. And this pot is unique in that it's, it's complete. A lot of pieces, previous other pieces are broken. And it's a chicken-shaped uh, pottery pot. So this started to show how people not only use this for food and cooking, but also had art forms built into the pottery that they used, which is quite fascinating. Over here, what we have is uh, various large pots also dating, dating back to the Neolithic era is about also 6,000, 5,000, 4,000 years ago. So if we keep walking through this exhibition hall, we'll see more and more exhibitions that trace the Neolithic Stone Age, or the New Stone Age. So in Yunnan, there's a lot of historical rock art and paintings in the mountains and the caves, which depicts their old life. And so these are some descriptions and examples of uh, the paintings that they found. So after the Stone Age exhibition hall we've just been to, uh, we now come to the Bronze Age exhibition hall. Now this era probably starts about 3,000 years ago in Yunnan. Yunnan, the area, has a very famous uh, copper culture with copper artifacts that were created, very special. It's almost called the heart of civilization, yeah? And it was called Dian Guo, which is a kingdom that existed in this particular era. So in this exhibition hall, we're gonna see lots of artifacts dating back to this particular age. Let's go have a look. So 
this is a big uh, bronze drum dating back to the Han Dynasty, about 200, 100 BC. And this piece over here is probably one of the most famous pieces, characteristic of this era. It is a lamp with various pieces together that you would actually put a lamp and candle, which dates back to the Western Han Dynasty. And this kind of copper art form in, in Yunnan at that particular era was very advanced. It's a very beautiful piece. So in the exhibition hall, there's actually a very interesting uh, story here. And this goes back to the Han Dynasty. This is when, after the warring periods, the Emperor Han Wudi, he brought the whole of China together. And at that point, um, he came down to, to Yunnan and presented the seal uh, to the local leader of Yunnan to, to, to run the empire down here. And so this seal was actually discovered in 1955. It's called the Seal of the Dian King. So they call the empire the Dian King. Very famous piece of history. The real exhibition uh, is not here, but there's a replica over here of the seal, which is about that little piece over there. So this was the royal stamp of the, the seal of the Dian Emperor, which was a representative of the Han Dynasty in Yunnan. As we keep going along here, we have an area inside uh, Kunming called Jinning, where they have lots of excavations. And they also discovered in a similar area, discovered this. This is a bronze, uh, early bronze piece, which represents a fight, a battle. And you'll see the, the detail, intricate details. This goes back to about uh, 100 BC, around about that time. And you'll see a battle going on here. Yeah? And every piece and every, every uh, little character has a different uh, role, I guess. So it's very interesting, very beautiful. This was found in the same area as the seal beyond us. So after that Bronze Age period and the Han Dynasty 2,000 years ago, a period from probably uh, 2,000 years ago to about 1,300 years ago, um, a lot of people from all around China, Chinese people, migrated to Yunnan. And over time, that Dian Empire that used to do the Bronze Empire, that started to, to collapse and fall. And the area started to become more similar to other parts of China. Obviously, in the mountain areas, you still have a lot of ethnic, um, and call it minority cultures, would have their own culture. But all the big cities started to become more Chinese, I guess, and less, less borderland, if you want to call it that. And so this exhibition hall uh, describes that period of 700 years. So during that 700 year period, as more of the Han, which is the majority in, in, in culture in, in, in China, uh, migrated into Yunnan, you have lots of different types of pottery. This, yeah, this piece is very famous. This is actually a tree, a money tree. And so the money in that time was small copper pieces with a little hole in the middle. And so you can actually put all the money on your tree, and a very rich person can have a very big tree, I guess. Very nice. So as we continue along here, we'll see that's the, that's the seal. That's the seal of, of Yunnan. These are little bronze mirrors, which were used back in the day. And this story, it starts to talk about the integration of people within Yunnan. So obviously, as more of the Han nationality migrated into, into Yunnan, they mixed with all the, the minority cultures and created a unique, call it Yunnan version of, of, the, of the Han culture in Yunnan. Very interesting. And so these are also some of the most famous uh, surnames in, in Yunnan in, uh, over that period. This character is very difficult to, to write. It's actually Tsuan, which was a famous family in, uh, that ruled Yunnan for a period of time. We'll keep going. Next, we come to another exhibition hall, Fragrant Buddha Kingdom. It shows a history of Nanjiao State in Dali, Yunnan province in the 8th century. This museum presents many related fine collections and murals, including the representative gold Guanyin statue and the beautiful relic Wu Se Gongyang Ta, which is made out of gold, silver, bronze, copper, iron and amber, and was used in sacrificial ceremonies. The craftsmanship is exquisite. Ah, <sighs> so I'm eventually sitting down for three hours in the museum drinking a cup of black coffee. Uh, it's been a great trip of the museum here. Yeah. It's uh, got a lot of content from the ancient Asian, Asian Yunnan right through to the present. Uh, this goes from the dinosaurs, the crustaceans, the earliest man into the Stone Age, Bronze Age, and then the current eras. So I think it's really well worth uh, visiting the Yunnan, um, National, the Yunnan Museum, Provincial Museum here yeah, yeah, in Kwandu. Uh, this is a coffee shop here. Yeah. Across from us we have a very nice uh, place where we can buy souvenirs and there's a bookshop to the left of me. So I'm going to enjoy my coffee and then head home and I invite you to join, join me on the next uh, episode of my tour through Yunnan. Cheers. Today I will take you on a tour of the convention centre and the nearby culture park.
This centre has hosted many important international conventions. It's the largest centre of its type in southwest China. Something called Baijiao, it's a little banana at the top there. And as you go. Beautiful colours, amazing sights, the night sight is incredible.